Paul the Venetian is standing behind you with this amazing pink, pink and gold garment that he's placing over you. And um, as he's draping this over you, I'm seeing uh, within the golden part, which is the inner part, all these amazing um, embellishments he's made that signify the initiatic path from beginning to end. He's woven into through the thread, the golden threads, on the inside of the cape. The, the initiatic path as, as all of humanity are meant to experience it, enjoy, and to revel in it, and to appreciate the universe, God, creation, all life through it. So what this initiatic path is, as he has kind of almost painted it in a sense, but more, more like sewn it through threads of light uh, is the ideal for all of us uh, with the tests along the way with the, the understandings that come as we move through uh, give it, being given birth to as an infant all the way through all the stages and steps of, of self-development and then into the complete understanding of who we are as God-realized ones with God as co-creators. So it starts like an embryo, goes through you know, the seed and the sperm, so to speak, and then it, you see all of the evolutionary path of a soul, a spirit spark. And he's woven this so beautifully that it's like, it's hallowed <laughs> And the retreats of the Brotherhood, and, that, and once he did one for for a long time ago, uh, all these masters desired a replica in their retreats because they they desire to show people the representation that Paul the Venetian uh, did. Now, what he did was he he understood through his life what the initiatic path is and, and the solar development of the soul. And so he's got nuances of it that are for, that we all go through, and that. But what he's woven for you in this cosmic instant is like emblematic of your your initiated path. And so, what remains to be uh, experienced by you is the final initiations, which in the cape are closer to the head. You know, so the cape is around you now, but the final initiations, you've, you've, got, you've started and gone through this whole area, you've really mastered your heart chakra, and the final initiations now represented in the cape are more like around kind of the throat area of the cape, as it, as, you know, the back of the neck in that area. So that's very interesting why he's pointing that out, because maybe it's something about this area that's that's symbolic now for you uh, well Taurus is the neck I guess and then of course the heart chakra is Leo so the, the, the initiations between Taurus the neck and Leo the heart are the ones that you can un really focus on and your final uh, the cyclings of your soul in this lifetime. So that would be Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo, I guess, right? Yeah. So whatever that means, I don't fully understand it humanly. It's something for you to tune into. So why is he giving you this cape? Well, partly because Carla, of course, is a pink ray, pink ray master, right? A lady clarity. And, and she spent a fair amount of time in his retreat and asked asked that Paul actually do this garment for you for this day for today for today so it's as as much as it's his his doing and his gift it's also at her request so when you wear this garment 
in your meditation spiritually. Uh, you can ask that uh, the understandings between the heart and here, and then really even the, the crown. So what I'm seeing now is, and I wasn't seeing it before, it really includes a cape over the head, because otherwise it would be incomplete if it stopped right here, right? So it's really actually the initiations from the throat all the way through the crown. Uh, so more than just what I was saying before, between the heart and the throat, it's really throat, the third eye, through the crown. So there's like a little, almost like a, a monk's cape that's very also very beautiful uh, that's there. So this also symbolizes like a holy order of monks, of those of us who have served in monasteries or in sacred communities where we donned a cloak or a, a garment as a symbol of our vows, etc. So I've never seen in, in any of the holy orders or the monasteries of something like this because it's really magnificent. It, the closest thing I think I've seen to it is what Padre P, what Marius painted for Padre Pio and on the cover of my CD, the Padre Pio CD, because I think there's kind of a ruby color and maybe some gold. I'd have to look at it. So anyway... So um, you can spiritually wear this when you meditate and ask for the mastery of the final initiations for the fulfillment of your being on this earth and to move into uh, the sacred space and place and dimensionless place of beingness in God's heart. And so I guess it also would be good to call to Paul, meditate with Paul the Venetian, because Carla has. And you can actually ask to be taken in spirit to his retreat with her, to commune with her at the retreat, and to, to have downloads of, of divine love, of Buddhic love, of mindful love, of holy love. There's all these aspects of love that you will tune into and receive from Paul that will help you to be uh, a, an even greater lover of all of humanity. Uh, and so that's it. Pretty cool, man.